everyone. Uh, my name is Meg. I am finally out on the trail today. I'm hiking through Frick Park in Pittsburgh, PA. And I made the really smart decision to hike every day this week without looking at the weather report. <laughs> so it's raining, but whatever. It's gonna be raining on the trail. So it's good practice and I'm getting to use my rain gear, which is great. Um, so I wanted to start this video by telling y'all what my trail name is gonna be. And I'll tell you this story too quickly and I'll get into it another day, but my trail name is gonna be Scrambled Megs. At least that's what it's gonna start as. If it changes, it changes. <laughs> but I got that name in college because I used to love to feed all of my friends when we'd get home late at night from going out. <laughs> so I'd pretty much make like a carton of eggs and hash browns, homemade hash browns, and whatever was in the fridge would get scrambled in there. I don't eat meat anymore, but lunch meat, cheeses, vegetables, whatever I could find. And it never turned out the same twice. <laughs> so I got the nickname Scrambled Megs. And for any of my family and friends watching this, I hope y'all giggle at that. <laughs> That's also my um, name on Instagram, if anybody wants to follow that account. I pretty much post on there daily right now. That'll change when I get on the AT, but uh, it's Scrambled Megs with two G's and two S's at the end. So that's my trail name. Um, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about my gear. It's actually slowing down. The rain is slowing down a little bit, which is cool. Um, but I am, I'm wearing my hiking boots, my Anu hiking boots. They are my absolute fave. If anybody <laughs> out there watching this is looking for a lightweight hiking boot, I highly, highly, highly recommend them. I was not a fan of hiking with anything that felt like a, a tank on my foot. <laughs> and these have just been absolutely perfect. So I've had them for, gosh, I think a year and a half now. And the first time I wore them, John and I did a, I think it was like a 14 or 15 mile hike which I don't recommend doing in brand new hiking boots, but I didn't have any problems. I do remember a little bit of Achilles pain right in the beginning, but that was because the first three miles was straight uphill and I just wasn't in hiking shape at the time. So, and that's something good. I like when stuff like that happens, obviously not pain, but for me, it's good knowing that going into the AT, taking it easy um, and hiking properly. So I've been doing yoga a lot <laughs> for the past year or so now and that has helped me tremendously with just my my hiking form and it allows me to kind of be really in tune with my body. So as soon as I start feeling uncomfortable somewhere, I immediately put my attention there and for lack of a better phrase, I kind of just have a conversation with my leg. <laughs> I say, hey leg, what's up? <laughs> Am I limping on you too much or what's going on? So it's cool. I've been able to self-correct myself in a lot of ways. I'm gonna go down this little trail here. I don't know where it goes, but. All right, so I've got my Anu hiking boots on and I am not wearing the rain pants that I'm gonna wear on the trail because I don't have them yet. Um, I'm just wearing REI waterproof pants. I'm sure you can see them and they're great. They're fine. Underneath of this jacket, I've got my outdoor research rain jacket on, super lightweight. And underneath I've just got a Columbia tee. Um, I was doing great in the rain. I actually had to walk across a bridge to get over here. This is, I love this park so much. It's a city park. Um, and it's been a total refuge for us for the past few years. And it's amazing to be able to get out and hike every single day. And I mean, you can make this hike as long as you want it to be, which is amazing. So anyway, I had to walk across a bridge <laughs> to get to the part of the trail I wanted to start at. And 
<laughs> it was raining, but then a bus came by and like pummeled me with all of this water, which was really funny. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm wet, but whatever. I'm gonna, you know, be wet on the trail and it's, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even have words for it. I'm not worried about the rain. Um, I've got my phone in my pocket here. I've got the, uh, I mentioned this in another video. It's the Kia Sara Brigadier. It is the indestructible smartphone. I think I want to go this way. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, it's the indestructible smartphone, so it's waterproof. And I just decided quickly that I wanted to bring that along with me because it just makes sense. It's easy, it's durable. I have broken a couple of them, but that's neither here nor there. I don't foresee myself being on my phone that much other than listening to music and <laughs> that was amazing that was a candid camera right there um so it's super muddy outside <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and call that my first fall um because i yeah that was awesome let me stand up and regroup for a second i'm not hurt don't worry here check out my legs a little bit of mud never hurt anybody. Um, that's probably a good lesson for filming and walking, especially in the rain and the mud. That I should maybe pay attention a little bit more. Note to self. Oh man, John's gonna laugh so hard when he sees this later. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, my phone. And now, yeah, there's a good reason on why I've broken three phones. <laughs> anyway, I might call in and, you know, check in every so often with people but I'm probably not gonna be on my phone that much. So the only thing I'm worried about is it being um, safe and protected in here. I should probably put it in a baggie, <laughs> but we'll see. That's why I'm hiking in the rain today to figure out everything. Um, my fingers are actually really cold. I kind of resisted. John wanted to get <laughs> waterproof liners for our gloves. And I was like, eh, I don't know. Do we really need those? But yeah. We need them because I have my gloves in my pack right now, but they would just be soaked. So there's no reason in even putting them on. Um, what I'm filming on is my GoPro. It's the Hero 5 Black and I love it. I just got this one. Um, John bought it for me. Thank you so much, babe. <laughs> and it's waterproof. So the last one that I had, when you put it in the case, you couldn't hear anything. So it just wasn't gonna be very beneficial. And this one, you can just film and walk and fall. <laughs> and uh, it, it seems pretty good so far. So let me think if there's anything else I feel like talking about. Um, yesterday we got out, we did just about a three mile hike. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna do today. It actually is really nice out, all things considered with the rain. Um, and I have the whole park to myself. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, I think that's it for now. You guys are probably gonna hear me talk to my GoPro a lot because <laughs> I put it on voice control so I can easily turn it on and off. So I think that's it for now. And GoPro, stop recording.